Hello and welcome to another Unmatched Style podcast. I'm here with David Kaneda from Cincha. Hey. Hi. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for being here. Um, I wanted to ask you about Cincha. Like, why are you there? Like, what do you do for them? I mean, what yeah. Are you... So um, I'm the creative director at Cincha. I joined about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. um, originally, before Cincha, I was a partner at a design office. Um, doing mostly the interactive side of the company. Okay. And um, then I made JQ Touch, uh, which is sort of a jQuery plugin for uh, mobile development. Mm -hmm. And so Sencha at the time was XJS. They provided a framework, a JavaScript framework for building rich desktop apps. Right. And we're starting to look at mobile, so they started to look at JQ Touch. We got talking. Um, and so, you know, in addition to joining the team, helping them look at their mobile strategy, um, I just really felt like the company as a whole could use a little boost in terms of how they looked, how they represented themselves uh, to the community. Um, and so I sort of just took the role of creative director. <laughs> That's how they, I'm going to do this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in the beginning, I was the actually um, the ninth person on the team. Okay. So you do have that luxury of just sort of picking your role. Um, so so you, brought, you brought JQ Touch to Cincha. Is that how yeah, that happened? Yeah, so I essentially we decided to create, at the time we were also hiring um, Dimitri from Raphael JS okay. and um, a couple other sort of talent um, hires. And so we wanted to create sort of a home for all of our, we all had open source projects um, and we all wanted to keep them maintained. So we created Central Labs, which okay. now holds all of our open source <laughs> projects. Right. Um, and we actually, for JQ Touch specifically, we, we hired Maintainer um, so that I could dedicate more time to Sencha Touch. Okay, cool. So JQ Touch is still maintained. It's still a yeah, and it's still going okay, on awesome. today. Yeah, awesome. So where do, how does Sencha different from Sencha differ from what you've done there? Okay, so in Sencha Touch compared to JQ Touch, mm -hmm. um, JQ Touch is much more along the jQuery sort of mindset of progressive enhancement, okay. of taking an existing website or some declarative markup and converting it. Um, basically adding into it some nice animations, um, some nice styles for mobile, that kind of thing. Um, Sencha Touch sort of goes in a different direction, a step further, and says, um, you know, it's about creating apps. Um, okay. So it's not just about my blog or my website, but it's about creating, you know, the Twitter app or, or Gowalla, or those types of apps that are data-centric, uh, that are rich all throughout. Okay. In JavaScript. Huh. All right. So, so what's what's on the roadmap for Cincha Touch? I mean, what? So we're just starting our planning for Touch 2.0. Right. Um, I can't give away a lot of it, but Come I on. can say uh, we're focusing big time on performance. Okay. Um, we have some new build tools and a new uh, class system, which makes that a lot better. We have a very far improved MVC system that's going into it. Um, we're looking at some additional support stuff, but again, I can't divulge too much. <laughs> That's cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, really thank appreciate you. it.